Hi friends, it's Allie here from the Turtle Trunk and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this tree gift topper and Christmas ornament. This little tree measures about 3 inches wide and 4 inches tall and uses very little yarn. This project works up super fast and is beginner friendly. So grab your supplies and let's get started. For today's tutorial you'll need medium weight yarn in the color green, a 4mm or G hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle. We're going to begin with a slip knot and I'm going to leave a longer tail at the end of mine so I can use that as the top loop of my ornament when I'm done. So if you want to do the same, just leave about an at least six inch tail left behind your slip knot. So there's my slip knot. And I'm going to start with a chain two, one, two. Working back into our chain, we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. That was row one. Now we're going to chain one and turn. So working back into that single crochet, we're going to work two single crochets in that same stitch. So one, two. So at the end of row two, we have two single crochets. Chain one and turn. For row three, we're just going to work one single crochet in each of those two stitches. So one, two, chain one and turn. For row four, we're going to work two single crochets in each of those stitches. So one, two, three, four, chain one and turn. For row five, we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. Three and four. Chain one and turn. For row six, we're going to work two single crochets into the first stitch. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then two single crochets in the last stitch. So at the end of row six, our total stitch count is now at six. Chain one and turn. For row seven, we're gonna single crochet into each stitch across. So at the end of row seven, our stitch count is still at six. Chain one and turn. For row eight, we're gonna work two single crochets into the first stitch. And then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And in the last stitch, we're gonna work two single crochets. One, two. So at the end of row eight, our stitch count is now at eight. Chain one and turn. For row nine, we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch across. So at the end of row nine, our stitch count is still at eight. We're gonna chain one and turn. For row 10, we're going to work two single crochets into the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next six stitches, two, three, four, five, six, and then two single crochets in that last stitch. So at the end of row 10, our stitch count is now at 10, chain one and turn. And for, for row 11, we're going to single crochet into each stitch across. And our stitch count is going to remain at 10. So at the end of row 11, our stitch count is still at 10, and now we're going to tie off our yarn. So I'm going to chain one, 
grab my scissors and cut off. I'm gonna leave a short tail just long enough that I can weave it in after. I'm gonna pull that and pull that tight. So now we're gonna reattach our yarn for the trunk of our tree. So we're gonna reattach to the fifth stitch of the last round. So one, two, three, four, five. So just make another slip knot on your hook and reattach to the fifth stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so reattach to the fifth stitch of the last round. Chain one, single crochet into that same stitch, and then single crochet into the next stitch. So this is gonna be row 11. So for row 11, we just have two stitches. I'm gonna chain one and turn. For row 13, I'm just going to work one single crochet in each of those two stitches. So again, stitch count is at two. So that's pretty much our tree, but now we're going to make a border all the way around it, and that's just gonna help clean it up a bit. So now we're gonna go back down the trunk. So to turn this corner nice and smoothly, I'm going to chain two and single crochet into that same stitch. Now we're coming back down the trunk and into the same stitch that we had attached our new yarn. I'm going to slip stitch. And then working down the bottom of the tree, we have four stitches here. So I'm gonna work one single crochet in each of those four stitches. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna chain two to help turn this corner single crochet into that same stitch. And now we're gonna work back, we're gonna work up the tree, working one single crochet into each row. So we had 11 rows, so we're gonna work 11 single crochets up the tree. So now we're at the top of the tree and we have our long tail end here. So you just wanna make sure that you don't work around that. We're just gonna leave it there and we're gonna um, go back to it after. So just ignore that there. Just make sure you don't work around it and weave it in. Okay, so now that we're at the top of the tree, we wanna turn this corner. So I'm going to chain two, single crochet into the same stitch. And then going back down the tree, we're going to again work one single crochet into each row down. So we have 11 rows, so we're gonna work 11 single crochets down. Now to turn this corner, I'm going to chain two single crochet into the same stitch. And then now working um, on the bottom of the tree again on the other side, we're gonna single crochet into each one of those stitches across the bottom. And like we had done on the um, other side, we're going to slip stitch So now working back up the trunk, we're gonna skip this row, so that's row 12. We're just gonna skip that and go up to the top of row 13 and single crochet into that top stitch. Single crochet, chain two, and single crochet again in that same stitch. Then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the chain two, the very first chain two that we made when we were doing our border. I'm just going to slip stitch and tie off my yarn. I'm gonna leave a couple inches so that I can weave that end in. Just pull that. So here's our little tree. So we have a lot of ends to weave in, but we're gonna keep that top one open for now. So if you wanna grab your yarn needle and just weave in all of the other ends that you have. OK, 
Okay, so I just finished weaving in all of those ends. So now for our top one, if you're going to use this as a tree ornament or a gift topper, you may want to have this loop at the top just so it's easy for hanging and attaching. If you just want it as an applique and you don't want the hoop on top or you're going to attach something else, then you can weave this end in too. But I'm just going to show you how to make this a little loop. So you can either just bring this end down and tie it in a knot or you can use your yarn needle. I'm just going to sew it back in to where the knot is and then just tie another knot right at the base. Oops. So I'm just tying a knot around my original slip knot. And then you can just weave in that little tail end if you'd like. And there we go. There's our little gift topper and tree ornament. Thank you so much for following along and I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you a part of the Turtle Trunk family. You can find more free patterns on my blog, whoshomemade.com. And be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram and tag me in your photos so I can see your finished Turtle Trunk creations. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.